she was my first doll and she's a girl of the year 2008. I got her in October of 2013 for my birthday. Honestly, I think Mia is such a pretty doll and I really love having her in my collection. She's super special to me. Her full name is Maria de Lourdes de Saint Clair. I just thought her name was a little short so I wanted something bigger and that's one of my favorite names. So for my second and third dolls, um, they are two of the best friend characters from the historical collection. So I have Ivy Ling, who is Julie's best friend from the 70s, and Rufy, who is Kit's best friend from the 30s. Okay, so backstory, I got these two in March of 2014, I think March or April, I can't really remember. I think they're both beautiful. They're two of my favorite dolls, I just think they're so pretty and unique. I really like that Ivy has this cute little bob with um, with bangs and it's just really nice and soft to the touch. It's just wonderful. And I really like the jazz face mold. It's one of my favorites. And I love Rufy because she has a really cute curly hair and, and I love that she has gray eyes. I think they're really pretty and I wish American Girl would use them again. So this lovely trio right there are my next dolls. Um, I actually got them the same day I got Mia but they took like nine months to get to me. So I kind of consider them to be, you know, number four, five, and six respectively instead of, you know, actual first dolls. I'm gonna go from left to right. Um, first we have Miss Dana Scully. She's actually Sage, girl of the year 2013, but I don't really like the name Sage, so I changed it. I love her. Her eyes are beautiful. They're just such a unique tone of blue. And I really, really like them. I wish they were being used in more dolls. Um, you can kind of compare them to like these two dolls right here. And you can see the differences between the, their eyes. I really like her collection as well. It's one of my favorites. Like she probably hands down my favorite AG outfit ever is from her collection. Which is the one she's wearing right now. Um, so yeah, I really like her. Her hair is also really nice and I would definitely recommend looking for her if you can on eBay. In the middle is my American Girl number 33 and her name's Norma. She's really cute and I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot in this video, so sorry. Um, she has strawberry blonde hair and it's curly. I really like the shade of her hair and I think it suits her a lot and I try to give her like a vintage old Hollywood vibe. Like, um, I have Miss Caroline. Caroline is a historical character that is now retired from American Girl and she is a stunner but I would never recommend her to someone who's getting her as their first doll or to someone like a really really young kid because her hair is a little messy to deal with since it's super curly and super long and it can become a mess very very fast. So my next doll is Addie and she's super special to me because she was the first doll I ever got the American Girl place. I got her in New York City in August of 2014 and she's the historical version of Addie. Well, she still has the line eyebrows and obviously her old meat dress and I think she's so pretty. I love her so much especially because her hair is super long and you can do so many hairstyles with her. So before we go on, I just want to give out a little disclaimer. Um, I saved for two years to get all of these dolls. I got her in the same day. Um, all of the following dolls, like these and the ones that are going to come after them. So I'm going to show them in reels. I saved for two years to get all of them, except Rebecca. Rebecca was a gift. So please don't be nasty in the comments. Thank you. I got these dolls at the American Girl Place New York on... August 25th, 2014. So Rebecca is a historical character from 1914 and she was a gift from my mom. She's actually like the historical Rebecca, not the Be Forever Rebecca, but she's wearing the, the Be Forever outfit just because I really like the bright colors on her. She's one of my favorite characters from American Girl because I really relate to her story and plus I really like her time period. I really like those clothes. I think her collection is definitely one of my favorites. Another thing that I really like about Rebecca is that she looks a lot like me when I was younger, so I think that's pretty cool. So moving to the next doll, Kit Kittredge, historical character from 1934. She is Rufy's best friend, and I've showed Rufy earlier. So they used to come together 
but now it's just Kit. Um, so it's a historical version of Kit. And last from this batch of dolls, we have Josefina Montoya, historical character from 1824. I think Josefina is such an underrated doll. She's just really pretty and I wish more people would get her. I posted a picture of her on my Instagram recently and I was really shook because her hair is super long. She looks like Rapunzel. It's crazy. Hearing on the dolls that I got on August 25th, I have Kaya. Um, she's a historical character from 1764. She's one of my favorite dolls. I think she's really pretty and since she's the only girl doll with this face, I think she's super unique. I also think she's totally underrated. She's so pretty, you guys. Stop sleeping on Kaya, like seriously. Again, same thing with Josefina. I really like her hair because it's long and like you can do different stuff with it. And moving on to my like my American Girl Truly Me dolls. We have my G number 58. I named her Natalia after one of my best friends. She is so pretty. This is honestly one of my favorite dolls that she has ever made. I love her hair. I love her face mode. I think she's stunning and I would recommend her so, so much. She is super photogenic. And then we have my American girl number 30. She's retired now. I named her Wu Mina. But her nickname is Mina and that's what, what I call her most of the time because Wu Mina is a pretty big name. And she's super cute. I love her. She looks a lot like Jess, and Jess is one of my dream dolls, so I really like having kind of a look-alike in my collection. Plus, I think her face was really pretty. So the last few dolls from my trip to the American Girl Place in 2014 are these ladies. Starting off with my American Girl number 61. Her name's Beatrix. Her name's B, so she has my name basically. It's a variation of my name. She is my lookalike. Um, she's only missing freckles. I'm obsessed with doll hair because I really like trying on hairstyles. So her hair is also one that I really like for that. Moving on, in the middle we have Evie, Evelyn. She is my number 55 and she is inspired by one of my favorite characters ever, Evie from the Mummy franchise. And that's why I kind of like dressing her in vintage looking outfits. I think I feel like it suits her character a lot and if you've ever seen the movie you you probably agree with me and she has the same personality as a movie character. And lastly, my holy grail doll, the doll that I dreamed for years since 2008, Samantha Partington. I got Samantha on the day she came out with Be Forever, so August 28th. 2014. She's wearing her own meat outfit because I don't know, I really like this one a little bit better. Samantha is my favorite historical. Then I have Elizabeth and she's Felicity's best friend from the historical collection. She is now retired and she's from the year 1774. She's such a special doll to me. I got her in a really, really hard time in my life. Um, I remember my grandma was really sick, so when I got her, it was just like really comforting and this some, like a distraction I really needed at the time and I got her in December of 2014. Kanani was the girl of the year 2011 and she's really hard to find for a good price and if you find her for a good price she's usually not in the best shape and I got her used and I restored her and actually for pretty cheap and I was really happy with that. She was my Christmas gift from Christmas 2014 from my from my godfather and man I was just really happy when I got her she was a dream and I never thought I would get Kanani ever in my wildest dreams and she was just such a rare and usually pretty expensive doll and I'm just really happy to have her in my collection my next doll was also one of my dream dolls got her in the beginning of 2015 she's a my american girl number four and I named her Eloise um, unfortunately, American Girl doesn't make number 4 dolls anymore and that's really sad because she's so pretty and she's also the only doll with this face mold. So she's very, very unique and she's super special in my collection because of that. She's one of my favorite dolls to photograph and to use as a model. I just think her face is just so, so, so stinking cute and I love her. 
She's just one of the prettiest dolls American Girl has ever done, and I really hope they come back with this face mold. My next doll is number 26. I named her Cecilia, and of course, she's a My American Girl doll. I got her for my birthday in 2015. She is one of my prettiest dolls. I love her. I love her little curls. They're super cute, and I love her eyes. I'm gonna zoom in. And you guys can see they're actually ember and not like regular brown. They're really cool and unique. And there aren't that many dolls with this eye color. So that's why I really like her. She is also one of my favorite dolls to photograph. Because she's super, super photogenic. And her curls always look really nice. She has a hearing aid. My next doll is super special. It's Leah Clark Girl of the Year 2016. I actually renamed mine Sophia. But the reason why she's super special is because I'm Brazilian. And as you guys know, she comes to Brazil and her stories. And that to me was so cool. And it was really special to me to see my culture and my country in an American Girl doll. It made me super happy and that's one of the reasons why I love her so much. My last few dolls, she's also incredibly photogenic. I really like taking photos of her. Next up is Melody Ellison. She's a historical Be Forever character from 1964 and she was a birthday gift from for my birthday in 2016. Her story is one of my favorites from American Girl. I really, really liked her books and I like the movie too. She is such a pretty doll and her message is super powerful. And lastly, the final doll in my collection so far is my number 24 of the American Girl of Today line. This doll in particular is um, from 2004. I named, her, I named her Astrid. Astrid is named after the writer of the P.P. Long's talking books. I really loved those books growing up so I just thought it really suited her. Now, I think this doll is super pretty. I really like that she has brown eyes and blonde hair. I love her freckles as well. She's super cute and I've really been enjoying dressing her up in Mary Ellen's outfits. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really loved sharing with my dolls with you. They're so special to me and I hope you enjoyed them too. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below as well with suggestions or which doll was your favorite. Tell me what you think. This really, really helps me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. I really love you and I'll see you for my next one. Bye!